Hi guys and welcome to Visual C++ Y loop tutorial. As you all know, loop can execute a block of code as long as a specific condition is reached. Okay, and loop is handy because they save time, reduce error, and they make codes more readable. That is why we advise the use of loops. And this is a while loop. Okay, I'm going to double click on this and clear it that and let's try out maybe number nine so what i've done in there is i've actually created a while loop tutorial and use that to create a multiplication timetable of which you can enter whatever data in there and there we go so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to take you guys straight into visual c plus plus and let's start a new tutorial entirely i'm going to close this and let's open up Visual Studio 2022 and create a new project. And let's select C++. Make sure you are actually selecting clrmtproject.net. Click on Next. Let's give that a name. I'm going to call it CPP while loop. There. And let's click on Create. Okay, the development environment is is ready as you can see there's no form or anything so i'm going to click on the solution explorer in here and here you see the properties click on the properties so what we're trying to do now is to create the form itself you see here inside the properties you click on the linker and for those of you who are using window 32 make sure you change this to 32 okay in my case i'm using 64 bit okay so now come straight to the configuration properties you see the linker drop it down and select system and now go in here see where we have subsystem change that to windows subsystem windows now come back down here where we have the configuration properties you see where we, we have advanced select the advanced entry point make that just enter main right in there you then click on apply and click on ok there we go now the next thing you now want to do is right click on the name of your project and select add and then select new item once you select new item this dialog box pops up you now want to select clr you can also select UI, but I'm going to set it for CLR and select Windows Form. Click on Add. Leave the name. See the name where we have that we have in there? My Form. I'm going to leave it as My Form. Click on Add. There we go. Your form will pop up. However, it will come up with an error. And there we go, guys. You end up with an error. But that's no problem click on the solution explorer now double click on myform.cpp once you double click on myform.cpp this is what you get okay include myform.h now in here you need the following lines of code you will get that in the in this forum that is it those and that's the following lines of code that i need i'm gonna right click on it and just copy it close that paste the copied lines of code here I have an error why because this I should enter the name of my project in there and the name of my project is CPP Y loop there we go the error should disappear now there you can save that if you run your program the form should pop out anytime from now there we go guys that's the form but the problem is, you see this very form is not here, it's not on the Solution Explorer just yet. So what we have to do is we need to close the whole system and start it all over. Make sure it's saved. I'm going to close everything and reopen it. Okay, I'm going to right click and just reopen my form.cpp. That is it coming up now. And right there so if we go to the solution explorer now we should be able to double click on myform.h 
and the form should appear now. There we go. All right, so we can now start work with whatever we want to do. Just going to drag it that much. Okay, now I'm going to go straight to the toolbox here and select panel. Let's place the panel right there somewhere. Yeah, that's fine. Go to the properties. And you see the the border style. I'm going to change that to fix 3D. Change the color to Kdet blue. The choice is yours. You don't have to do any of this. It's not required. Now I'm going to click on the panel again. Copy the panel and change the color of this very panel that I've just added to control. The control is the default color. There we go. Now copy this same control and just paste it there. Right there. That's good enough. Drag it that much. I will now add a list box. So let's come in here. Grab hold of a list box. Add that right here. There. And need a text box, a label here. And a text box right underneath text box here and a button there we go so all of the added components let's select them all and change the font size go back into the design hold on to the control and click on the properties to change the font select the font and I'm going to make the font about Let's go for 32, 36. And here, I may have to change this to reduce the size of that. Reduce that to maybe 20. Okay, make that 22. That's fine. All right. So now, this very one here, the label, I'm going to change it label to enter a number. There we go. And this text box that is going to be known as txt while loop. There we go. This button is going to be known as btn while loop. The text content on it is going to be cpp while loop. C. Y loop there okay and here that the label or the list box is going to be called LST while loop that's it all done now let's double click on this very button there and there we go we have our procedural area so first of all I'm going to declare an integer I'll call that I I equals one so I've just initialized I with one now I'm going to then say why I is less than 13 we now want LST while loop dot items dot odd and what are we adding? We adding I. Then we enter semicolon in there, and we then say I plus plus with a semicolon. So what we just done in here is the loop loops through a block of code as long as the specified condition is true. So in as much as the condition is true, this will keep looping, and it will generate one to twelve. So let's try that out and see. There we go guys. So if I click on this very button, it should give me 1 to 12. Look at that. That's how you create your own while loop. Now, you see all these other components. I have a reason for them because we can convert that into multiplication timetable. So let's select that text box and get it centered. Scroll right down here. You see where we have text align. I'm going to get it centered. And now double click on the button again. I will now add another variable there this other variable I'm just going to call that Q and Q will be equals 
let's convert that to dash no that should be column column to int 32 there we go and what are we converting that's going to be txt while loop dot text there so what I've just done in here is because whatever data you or whatever value you enter into the text box is always classed as a string character so here I've just converted it to number so now to convert it all to multiplication timetable we have to concatenate it with a plus sign plus concatenation means bringing it together and I would then say inside the quotes enter the sign multiplication plus I will enter Q again concatenate Q and I'm going to just copy all this concatenation codes in there paste that in there change this to equals and finally here we now want to say I multiply that by Q we have just created our own multiplication timetable using a while loop so let's try that out click on run there we go so if I enter any value in here now there see that guys that's brilliant so what I'm now going to do is for me to be able to enter more values in there if I change my mind or whatever I'm going to, I'm going to select this list box come straight to the properties you see where we have events and look for double click come right down here where's double click there we go double click on that and in here I'm just going to enter as follows when you double click on that just click it so let's say list while loop dot items dot clay that takes care of that I'm going to repeat the same thing for the text box the first place clear that I'm going to need two of those clear it clear and the next one just set focus there we go okay clear the list box clear the text box set focus in the on the text box now run we can now try that out let's enter nine in there there we go double click on that clear enter whatever there we go and that's how you create your own while loop in c plus plus okay the other thing that we can do is to prevent the user from entering whatever kind of character in there so let's double click in here you see when I enter any rubbish in there check this out we end up with an error so we don't want that happening so I'm gonna come in here so let's use try so underneath here I'm gonna say try and let's enter a cache statement in here so let's say cache exception at e and I'm just going to enter there and in here I'm going to use uh, add a message box message box column column show e dot message there we go and that should generate an error message for me so I'm now going to copy this while loop lines of code and just drag it drop it in there and that will take care of my error once the user enter any kind of rubbish in there that will be taken care of so let's run that save it first run and there guys you can now enter whatever character you want in there and there we go that's the error message pops up okay so one other thing that you can do is you can just ask it to clear it if there's any rubbish in there you can just clear it right away I'm gonna grab all of all of this
copy that and paste it in here there so let's try that again run there we go there enter anything in there nope that's unacceptable there we go and now let's enter some value in there there and that's how you create your own while loop in C++ so before I go let me show you guys the lines of codes again take a good look at it and declare message and these very codes that I use in creating the form this very one I will actually include the forum on the system for you guys so with that I'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial I suppose you guys enjoyed you all have a nice day now and bye for now and please do subscribe to my channel and you can also join to become a member of the channel you all have a nice day bye for now guys